Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. There's a group of people uh, giving this, uh, your ex, it's an ex, a piece of their mind. I'm telling you. I feel like, um, oh, they're saying a lot to this person. There's a group of people that are defending you. There's got to be more people that know what this person did. You know, here's the thing. Um, I kind of get the sense that when this person hurt you, they were bragging about it. I feel like they don't stop bragging about hurting you. This is someone who's smug, right? Um, this is somebody who could drink heavily, all right? Uh, they could even be getting some kind of intervention here for their drinking because there's a lot of drinking going on. This could be somebody who's an alcoholic, okay? Always at the bar, uh, talking about you, laughing about you. And I feel like people have just had enough. They could be calling this person a drunk. They could be telling them to shut up about you, okay? And they're coming at this person really quickly. I, I feel like this person has just reached a point where they're getting out of control with their... It's like they talk smack about you all the time, okay? Um, and people are really sick of hearing it. Like, really, the people are so sick and tired of this person. Clarify this Nine of Cups. They're a manipulator. They see that. You know, um, yeah. I feel like they're telling this person to give it a, give it a rest. Uh, it, yeah, they're just seeing that this person is fairly narcissistic as well. Okay, I'm, that's the feeling that I'm getting. They've just been trying to manipulate others to go against you. All they do is talk about you. They laugh. They joke about you. It's just a you, you, you. Every time they go to this bar, they over drink. Um, and then they're just obnoxious. Okay. And it's always about you. This has been going on for a long time, I'm getting. And whoever they're talking to is just so sick of it. They, they're seeing this person as like controlling and just mean they're putting two and two together they're like this person just doesn't quit they must have been horrible to the collective horrible yeah all their friends are walking away from them they're like no nah, you know what mm -mm. they're seeing the truth about this person yes they are thank you spirit yes they are oh absolutely with the ace of swords judgment and the sun <laughs> Yeah, and that's what they're thinking. They're like, this has been going on and on and on. This person does not quit. All they do is trash talk the collective. That this person's, they're they're a, I I I want to say what they're saying, and I can't. Okay, so they're calling this person all kinds of names. Um, they they're just like you must have been horrible to the collective oh your name is being vindicated your name is definitely being vindicated high priestess energy and you've done nothing like you've i feel like you've said nothing about this you've been absolutely silent these people are seeing that the one who's not saying anything the one who has nothing to do with this person it's for a big reason I feel like at first, this group believed everything that this person said about you, but now they can see that this is just a narcissist who's trying to control everything, control what these people think of you, control what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, they're always thinking about what they're going to say next in order to put another sword in your back. Okay. Oh, who is this person? Yeah, look. Look, people are seeing. They're, they're only somebody who betrays you over and over again. They're only somebody who's... This is slander. They're just out here slandering your name. And, and thinking they can get away with it. Saying whatever they want. Doing whatever they want. Everybody is on to this person now. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. 
And they're defending you. They're literally saying, man, you just don't stop, do you? You just don't stop talking smack about the collective. Now we can see. You know, if you were like this without the collective, just think what you had to have put them through. You know, that's what these people are saying to them. I feel like now they're saying, you know what? It's good that the collective ended the situation. Um, you, uh, you missed out on a blessing. You know, they're telling people that it's probably a good thing you missed out if you're going to act like this. They're calling out a narcissist, okay? And I feel like the narcissist is getting angry, maybe. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, see, everybody now is seeing everything from a new perspective, and they are calling out this narcissist. I'm telling you, they're standing up for you, okay? They're turning on this person. I feel like they do it very quickly, too. They, uh, this, this masculine opens their mouth just one more time about you. And, oh, my gosh, they stick it right back down their throat. I'm telling you. You know, I feel like at this point, people are starting to feel bad for you for the things that, that you went through. Okay, the, the, their friends are starting to feel bad for you, for the things that this person has put you through, because now they can see what their character is like. Okay. Oh, man, there's so many people going up against this person, everybody they talk to. Um, it could be like if they go to a bar, it could be everybody in the bar okay telling this person to just shut up like for real that's what they're saying they're totally stopping them in their tracks here you know this person if they're if they're doing any kind of like if they okay let me back up Bloop. okay this person says one more thing about you and and people snap on them especially this person here right but yeah i feel like people are going up against them now say they leave that bar scene after drinking okay and they go and 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 try to drive they're going to get busted for drunk driving and possibly end up in jail having to think about all the things that they've said about you Okay, it's all because you were innocent. They've done a lot behind the scenes, and you've been innocent, and people can see that. Everything is backfiring on this person, you guys. Wow. Everything is backfiring on them. This is all the hurtful things that they've said about you. Okay, coming back on them. They're about to get their karma, and they're about to feel like an absolute fool as well. Because these people, I feel like they're calling them out in public. Okay, this is in public. This is going down in public. Okay, with the sun and judgment out here. This is a whole group of people going up against them. See, they, they say one more thing about you. And boom, it happens really quickly. Okay, this um, backfire, this backlash happens very quickly to this person like this somebody nips it in the bud man they are tired of this yeah here's a victory card i'm getting the sense that this person um you know usually this is a victory card but i'm seeing this is the, the same wands that are fighting this person they may they may chase this person right out of the bar okay they may even ask them to leave, that kind of thing. And I'm just getting the sense that you're going to be having the victory here. It's been a long time coming. Listen to me. You've waited for this, for your name to be vindicated for a long time, and people are seeing this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're telling this person off. Ooh. And you have no way of knowing. You may be picking up on this intuitively. 
you know, that your justice and vindication is rolling in, right? Yeah, people are seeing you now as the one who's stable, loyal, dedicated, committed. You could have been married to this person in the past, and now they're seeing you as the one who had your act together. It was always them that was the problem. And I'm seeing this, too, as, like, um, you finally are getting what you waited for, you know? Um, and that's your justice in this. I'm also getting that if you've recently started some kind of business or you've been working really hard, it's all paying off now. Now you're in the Queen of Pentacles throne, very stable. Yeah, look, there's, there's a lot of fighting and chaos going on behind the scenes. You know, people are mad now at this person for the, because this person misled them as well. They tried to convince these people like you were nothing. Okay, but you were actually like everything. Okay, you, um, you gave this person a beautiful life. You were innocent in this. You were innocent. Okay, and you were dedicated, loyal, committed, stable, grounded, the voice of reason. You probably took care of everything for this person. People are seeing this now. You could be in the public eye somehow. You may have, like, you could be in walking around just doing your thing, right? Running errands, whatever. And you could have some people approaching you to tell you about what this person has said about you. To apologize, possibly, um, for the things that they've said. Yeah. I feel like you just don't want to talk to any of these people anymore. Anybody who has slandered your name or betrayed you in the past or didn't believe in you, you're blocking everybody out. You're like, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. I feel like you've just, here's the thing, you broke free from this person. Okay. And now everybody can see that. They can see, oh my gosh, it must have been horrible for you. That's what they're thinking. Oh my gosh, it must have been horrible for the collective to be with this narcissistic fool. Okay? For, <laughs> for real, I kid you not. You may even get like an invite or something from one of these people, okay? I kind of get the sense they feel really bad for everything that you went through. Okay, they do. Other people feel bad for what you had to go through with this controlling narcissist. They're going to come and apologize to you. See, I feel like people feel bad. And, and not only did you go through a lot with them, but these other people were listening to this person bash on you for... Lo a long time. It could have been months and years, okay? Months or years. You're about to get a lot of apologies or these people are going to want to try to come and maybe be your friend. If they see you out and about, they may actually walk up to you and tell you that they respect you for what you've been put through, okay? Like, you're going to, yeah, and that's pretty much what this is. That's what this is. We, we really respect you now for what you've been put through. Look, you're going to be getting apologies. People wanting to be your friend now. They're going to be coming out of the woodwork. Could be up to seven people coming towards you. Okay. Man. Yeah, but, you know, this, this narcissist was exposed. Yeah, they're like, I feel like these people are going to say something like, we are really sorry. We can see now what you've been through. It was all kept a secret from us. It was all hidden from us. Now we, we realize just how much this person tried to block you, just how much this person must have made you feel threatened and alone. You know, it's that kind of thing. They're going to come and tell you all of this. They're going to come and tell you also everything that this person has said. I feel like everything is about to be exposed. Okay? 
And, I, you know, these people now, they're seeing the truth about the situation and they feel really, really bad about what you have been dragged through. Okay? Wow. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> All right, what else can you tell me? For the collective, messages for the collective. Yeah, see, people have been thinking about this. They've been putting the puzzle pieces together. And I feel like they're realizing here that you are owed some major respect for everything that this one person has dragged you through. Okay? There's a whole group of people. Yeah, because they realize this person was only trying to create some kind of chaos and drama in your life. Yeah, and then leave you out in the cold. Yeah, this is what they did to you. Now these people, these friends of theirs, they feel really bad. They feel really bad, okay? You may know these people, or you may not know them. I kind of feel like it's a, it could be a mixture, right, of both. Yeah, they're mad. I feel like this is anger. As soon as this came out, it felt like anger to me. Um, this is also masculine energy, so this could be a bunch of, like a group of of men angry at this ex for what they put you through. Okay, you don't treat a I, you could be male or female. But I just heard you don't treat a lady like that. You know, so they could be saying something like that. And they're thinking to themselves, no wonder, right? Why, right? Why, maybe questioning why uh, you two split up. There's no, there's no wonder you, you're walking away from them now. Yeah, they, now they, these people totally know that it was all this narcissist, okay? They know. And I feel like they're angry because this narcissist led them astray. They, um, they misinformed these people. This narcissist lied, you know, or they bragged about the wrong things. Like, they really manipulated a lot of people here. And these, I feel like the, the friends are angry because they feel like complete fools. They believed the wrong person. Yep. I feel like you're releasing all of this and you're letting this all go. You're like, you know what? I don't care anymore. If somebody wants to believe the lies about me, let them. They're, I'm leaving. I've got uh, new people coming in to my life. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that um, these, these people from your person's friend group, okay, they're coming in to tell you the truth. They're coming in to kind of extend an olive branch to you. Um, they're coming in to give you respect as well because a person who went through this kind of crap with this kind of narcissist deserves a lot of respect. All right? But that doesn't mean that you have to befriend them. I feel like you're going to be wondering, why are these people coming up to me? You know what I mean? You're going to be, you may even be caught off guard and think that your person, this narcissist, sent them to you for this. But no, they really do mean it. They feel really bad for what they, what, they feel bad now knowing how horrible it must have been for you. Okay, I feel like you're just moving on, yeah. You're moving on, you're starting a new life. This is you wanting to put it all behind you. All of that pain, all of the stress, the chaos, the heartache, the betrayal, you just want to put it all behind you. So this could even be you planning a house move, okay? Moving away to a different location. You know, you're just so tired of this. Yeah. You're, you're tired of being in this energy that's, that's stagnant, heartbreaking, Wondering if your person, you know, what people are saying and, you know what, you just, and feeling orphaned and abandoned, you're just done. So, yeah, you're putting this down. You're moving on. 
um, you are about to be approached by this person's ex-friends, okay? Um, but, yeah, you're not going to, I don't think you're going to want to have anything to do with these people. For real. 